What is going on guys? My name is Kenji, welcome back to the channel. I hope it's not the first time you're watching one of my videos, but just in case it is, I'm a final year medical student and biomedical science graduate studying King's College London. And guys, let's be honest, we normally spend, or at least I do, eight to 10 hours per day on our laptops doing the things we need to get done, whether that might be studying or making YouTube videos, whatever it might be. And over the years of using my Mac, I've developed ways to try and shave down as much time when it comes to doing the things that I need to get done on my laptop. And in this video, I'll be taking you guys through all of the ways that I do exactly that. Let's go ahead and get started, starting off with text replacement on my laptop. So one of the things that I really love about Apple and the reason why I'm slowly moving towards the Apple ecosystem is because of little things like text replacement. And I'll show you guys exactly what that is. What you can actually do on your laptop if you use a Mac is actually say keyboard shortcuts that will allow you to write out whole entire phrases just by writing two or three letters. So I'll just show you guys a quick example. So if I write uh, TYSM, I've actually saved that to mean thank you so much. I've also put in KR for kind regards Guards. I've put OMW for on my way. And these are the just common phrases that I use every single day in my life. So whenever I'm replying to emails or replying to YouTube comments or replying to my friends on iMessage or WhatsApp, I have so many things saved to save me time. And I'll just quickly show you guys how to do that. So if you go over to system preferences and you go to keyboard and then go to text, on the left, you can save any sort of keyboard shortcut you want and replace it with any sort of phrase. So as I showed you guys, TYSM is thank you so much. I have KR for kind regards. I also literally have full paragraphs of information saved with a few keyboard shortcuts. So sometimes if I have, let's say, a sponsor reach out to me wanting to sponsor a video, I have a keyboard shortcut for that where I'll just type in three words and I'll write the whole entire paragraph that I normally reply to uh, sponsors with. So if you find yourself constantly writing the same things over and over again, for example, maybe your home address, your phone number, your email address, all of those things can be very, very easily managed and replaced using text replacement. And I highly recommend you guys, you know, spend two to five minutes writing out all of the common things that you find yourself doing. For example, your email address, like I said, and everything else on there. Text replacement is a great method and it doesn't just apply to your laptop actually, it also applies to your iPhone if you use an iPhone and also your iPad. So it syncs across all of your devices. So, so whenever you need to send a quick message on any of your devices, you'll be able to do exactly that. That's text replacement. Let's go ahead on to the next uh, shortcut to save you guys time. Okay, so the next tip to save you guys time is an app called Alfred. Alfred is basically an app like Spotlight, which you get on all of your Macs and all your iPads as well, but just slightly different and slightly better. What I use Alfred for day to day is to use simple shortcuts to control my laptop. So for example, if I actually want to make my laptop sleep, I'll just type in sleep on Alfred and straight away, it will actually shut down my laptop, make it sleep. If I want to eject all of my uh, hard drives, I'll type in a Eject, it'll do the exact same thing, which is to eject all of my hard drives and everything on there. Um, if I also want to bring up my clipboard, so if I recently copied and pasted um, files on my clipboard, I'll type in clip, and what it will do is give me all of the recent things that I've copied onto my clipboard, which is super useful. If I've copied a phrase or a paragraph maybe an hour ago, I can bring up everything I've copied using that clipboard function over there as well. It's also linked with your calendar as well. So if you want to use your calendar, you can do that. I also use it to quickly shut down my laptop. So if I want to quickly shut it down, I'll type in shut down, enter, and very quickly it will shut down my laptop. So I mainly use it to do with controlling the main functions of my laptop. And also, like I said, using the clipboard, but Alfred has so many different things that you can use. It'll save you time day to day than going through system preferences and trying to control your laptop that way, or having to go and recopy something that you've already copied a couple of minutes ago. It will shave off loads of time so I would definitely recommend Alfred to anyone who wants to save time on the laptop. The next thing that I recommend you guys use to save you guys time on your laptop is an app called Video Speed Controller. And it's not actually an app, it's a Chrome extension. So if you use Google Chrome, I highly, highly recommend you guys use this. And I've actually spoken about this so many times in my previous videos, but I'll quickly show you guys what Video Speed Controller does. So if you guys can see this video I was watching earlier on, uh, it's a video to do with video editing. And I didn't want to actually watch the entire thing. I wanted to very quickly skim through the video. So what you're able to do with Video Speed Speed controller is actually press D and what D will do is it will actually speed up your video and as you guys can see here in the top corner it's speeded up my video to 2.3 times a normal speed you can actually hear the volume but it's actually speeding through very very quickly and you can control it all the way up to you know three times four times speed and it'll just speed through all the videos you want now I mainly use this for YouTube videos but also what I really use this uh, very often with is my lectures so sometimes we have pre-recorded lectures in medical school and some lectures are really easy to watch like for example maybe introduction to the 
the module or just very basic lectures. This Chrome extension has saved me so much time when coming to watch my lectures because if it's a very easy, very simple lecture that I don't want to watch in normal time speed, what I'll do is I'll just speed up the video to two times, sometimes even three times speed just to get a gist of what the lecturer is saying. Maybe it's not something super important. I'll quickly show you guys how to install that. If you go onto Google and type in uh, video uh, speed controller, uh, you'll find it pretty much straight away, hopefully. Yep, and that is exactly it. This video speed controller is the app that I use to speed up all of the videos I need to watch whenever I wanna watch it in two or three times speed. That's the next tip I have for you guys. Let's move on to the next one. The next tip that I have for you guys to speed up your productivity on your laptop is to please, dear God, memorize a few keyboard shortcuts. It is so essential. Whenever I watch my mom, you know, go ahead and highlight things, right click and click copy. It honestly hurts my soul. So there are a few things that you guys can learn to speed up your uh, productivity on your laptop and a few keyboard shortcuts that are essential if you don't know them already. So what I'd recommend you at least learn is Command A to select everything, Command C to copy, Command V to paste. I'd also recommend Command Shift 4 if you want to take a screenshot of anything. I'd also recommend um, Command Control Shift 4 if you want to just copy and paste a section of the screen. I'd also recommend to use uh, Command W if you want to close a screen like you've seen over here. If you want to actually quit an application, not just close it, but quit it, Command Q is what you need to use and that will quit the entire application completely. A few more keyboard shortcuts are Command Left to go to the start of the paragraph. Command right to go to the other side of the paragraph. You can also use control left to go to the start of the previous word. Command right to go to the next part of the previous word. You can also hold down command shift left to select the whole entire sentence. And these are just some very basic keyboard shortcuts that are actually super important and I'd highly recommend you guys learn. What I'll do is I'll leave a link down below to give you guys a bit more of a comprehensive list of all the keyboard shortcuts I recommend you guys learn. I wouldn't recommend to learn all of them, but at least the ones I mentioned will definitely save you a lot of time. That's my next tip let's move on to the next one the next app that i use on my laptop to increase my productivity is evernote which is probably the most important app that i use in all of my devices and i've actually made a full comprehensive video on how i use evernote so i'll leave that linked up above here somewhere but to briefly take you guys through how i use evernote and how it speeds up time Evernote is where I save all of my documents. So any of my important uh, you know, documents, including my passport, my driver's license, any sort of document that I know that I will need at hand on my phone, my iPad, or my laptop, I keep on Evernote because there are so many times where you're literally on a train or in a lecture where you need one sort of important document and you don't have it with you. What I also use Evernote for is to store any sort of documents that I need at hand. So for example, if my university is sending me my timetable for the next couple of weeks, what I'll do is I'll go on to my email and I'll forward that email directly to Evernote and Evernote will store it. So whenever I need it very quickly at hand, I have it straight away there. So in summary of this point, my advice will be to try and scan any sort of important documents you know you use on a regular basis onto Evernote. It's super safe, super secure, and also anything that you know that you will need at hand in front of you, like a timetable in university, maybe any sort of flight tickets, basically any sort of important document, I recommend you save on Evernote because it will save you so much time in the future when it comes to actually needing it and accessing it in the future. But again, a link up there will be for the full review on how I use Evernote. The next tip that I have to increase your productivity on your laptop is to try and use as many apps that you would normally use on your phone on your actual laptop because of how amazing Apple is with the whole sort of ecosystem and the whole integration. If you have an iPhone, there's probably very rare circumstances where you actually have to use your phone because you're actually able to call on your laptop. You're able to use iMessage on your laptop. You're able to use WhatsApp web, um, Facebook Messenger. There are so many apps that you're able to use on your phone. And trust me when I say that your ability to type on an actual keyboard is way faster than typing on that tiny screen on your laptop. One example where I try to use my laptop way more over my phone is when it comes to WhatsApp. Surprisingly, a large amount of texts I get on WhatsApp are to do with my work, maybe chatting to my supervisor or my colleagues. And what I try to do is not use my phone whatsoever. I like to just go on my laptop and reply to all of my work related and also kind of social life related messages through WhatsApp web. And it makes it super easier to actually reply to messages again, because your keyboard typing is way faster than your phone typing on your phone. So in any circumstance, if there is a way that I can use my laptop over my phone, I'll make sure I do that. Use your laptop, try avoid your phone. And that's my next tip for you guys. The next 
next tip that I have for you guys is to use your microphone on your laptop as much as you can when it comes to dictating. Now, I discovered this only in my fourth year of medical school and it changed my life. In medical school, there are so many times where I actually have to sit down on my laptop and type up so many reflections on you know, the patients I saw. And there's also a lot of emails I have to reply to and using the dictate function actually changed my life. And I'll show you guys exactly how I do that. So what I like to do is to open up Microsoft Word because the dictate function they have on there is actually really, really good. As you guys can see here on the top right of the screen, there's this huge thing here called dictate. And if I click that button, what Microsoft Word will do is really, really smartly dictate everything that I'm actually saying to you guys on my Microsoft Word. It is super, super useful. Of course, I don't actually use this when writing huge essays. Where I normally use it is, again, like I said, replying to emails. And also if I'm writing any sorts of long, lengthy, you know, patient reflections where I have to reflect on a particular case I had in medical school, little things here and there, not scientific essays, but little things here and there where I have to write, you know, a large amount of information in a more of like a colloquial uh, way. I also use this, interestingly, to script out my YouTube videos. So when I'm planning these YouTube videos for you guys, I want it to be very natural and capture what I'm saying as if I was actually saying it in real life. And again, all of that is done through my voice and not the keyboard. Save you guys some time and use your voice over the keyboard. That's my next tip for you guys and I hope it helps you guys out. The next and final super useful tip that I have for you guys is to use your Google Assistant or your Siri on your phone as much as you can. And this is probably like a very obvious thing, but I cannot stress to you guys how useful Siri and Google Assistant actually is. I use it every single day, multiple times a day, and it saves me so much time and makes me super productive with what I need to do. Some ways that I actually use my Google Assistant or my Siri is most importantly to set reminders. But sometimes I need to be reminded about something coming, you know, in a couple of hours. Sometimes I set reminders for weeks or months ahead. And it's really important to make sure that I don't miss out important things that I need to get done and do. For example, if I receive a really important email, but I'm really busy doing something on my laptop and I have no time to reply to it now, rather than bringing out my pen and paper and writing it down by hand, I'll say, you know, hey Google, can you please remind me in one hour to reply to this email. I also use it every single day to uh, set timers, set my alarm clock, check the weather. I honestly cannot explain to you guys how underrated it actually is. And if you guys want to increase your productivity, I highly recommend it, especially when it comes to very lengthy things like adding things to your calendar. You can literally tell Siri or Google Assistant to add a specific event to your calendar at a specific time. And that will save you so much time from having to actually go to your calendar, type it in there, you know, maybe add a reminder by writing on a piece of paper, use your Google Assistant or your Siri as much as you can, and I promise you, it will make you so much more productive with your life and you'll thank me. And those are my few tips that I recommend you guys to use every day to save you some time when it comes to doing the tasks you need to do on your laptop. But I honestly believe if you can shave off, you know, five seconds of your day every single day for your whole entire life, that five seconds in one day can actually amount to a huge amount of time. So I really hope this video has been uh, helpful to you guys. I hope it's given you some value as well. If it has, please make sure to drop the video a thumbs up. It really helps the YouTube algorithm. Please also make sure you're subscribed with notifications on to not miss a video whenever I upload. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.